Hey folks, I, I don't know who needs to know this, but I wanted to show you all how to very quickly and easily share your recordings from Zoom. So if you have to record your class and then upload the video, uh, you don't have to actually do that. Zoom will save the recording on their own cloud and you just have to share a link. So I'm gonna show you two ways to make this a setting for yourself. First up, open up Zoom, okay? This is the actual app. For me, I found it by going to new meeting, this little arrow right there, right down here under my personal meeting ID, I went to PMI settings, PMI settings. You click it open, you see all of these wonderful options and you scroll down here to the bottom, you see automatically record meeting in the cloud. You wanna click that guy, okay, in the cloud, right there. Then, uh, that's one option, okay? The other option is to go to zoom.us and log in to your account. From there, over here, go to settings and then click on recording. And when you do this, you'll be able to record locally uh, or record to the cloud. You wanna turn this option on, recording to the cloud, okay? There's lots of options under it for what you want to record just the gallery, just the active speaker, audio only, blah, 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 okay? After you've done that, every time you start your Zoom, it'll automatically record it and automatically track it, okay? Yay, so then where are those things? Click on recordings over here on the left, right? And this will show you right here, links to all the things that you have recorded, right? You click on share, and you can, can make it public, you can set it to only authenticated users, they can download it. I definitely recommend that you password protect it so that someone who's, who is in your class would be the only people that have access to it, okay? Um, try to scroll down here so you can see all this, okay? Um, password protect it and then copy sharing information. Once you've copied it, when you open up an email, paste it right there, there's the link. Or you can put that link on um, a, uh, a Google Classroom and your kids or whomever later on can watch it on their own time. Hope this helps y'all.